I love your research project where you break down the scent, for example, in a jacket. I've always thought, like, sort of after a night of Korean barbecue that, oof, you know, I can smell it. You've actually broken it down chemically. So I was invited to do a project in the south of France. The south of France is famous for their natural smells and their amazing relation to perfumery and, and the like, and I wanted to to kind of try to move this, this knowledge or provoke that kind of knowledge of a kind. And the fact is, we communicate smell in our society to perfume ads, marketing to go where science left. And I tried to bring back a little bit science to reality and, and say, listen, I mean, okay, Chanel can do a good job uh, and cover up a lot of things, but I mean, if you you know, want to know what's actually happening, you know, I would like to show you. So uh, the next slide, please. So I had spaced the garments from Citizen of Montpellier. And uh, these are just some of the smells I found in the garments. Uh, of course, there are much more molecules than I'm able to identify. But I wanted to give a kind of feedback to the owners and say, listen, this is what you're carrying around. I can't even smell you have a lover. This person had a, lo had a lover using my background Jill Sander. <laughs> And she was suing Chanel and saying, listen, this is what happened. You know, I thought I used your product because it sh should cover up that I don't <laughs> have all these other smells. <laughs> so again, it's like getting, letting people have access to, to what's actually happening. You're carrying around smell molecules from the surrounding you live in, the people you're trafficking with or whatever. You know, it's, it's, uh, that is just a reality. And uh, none mm -hmm. of these codes were, went back to the owners. I have them all. <laughs>